Hi, and welcome back to Armadillo Designs. Most of your traditional axe displays show only one side. And of course, I just finished making a custom double-bladed axe with different artwork on both sides, so I need to come up with a novel way to display both sides of the axe at the same time um, because I had no idea what the finished product was gonna look like. Generally, I make something that functions the way I want it to, <clears throat> and as an afterthought, I go back in an attempt to make it pretty or visually appealing. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'd have to say, of all the projects that I have uh, made, this is the most random batch of half-baked ideas uh, that's been uh, glued, duct taped, screwed together, and I hope you guys will enjoy it. I did. This bark will make up the outside of the frame and I needed it to be square so I just screwed it to another piece of plywood so when it's run through the table saw you get a nice even cut. Here is a fine example of my totally amazing mathematical skills and angle finding ability by using a precisional Allen wrench to take a swag at what angle I need to drill for the bolt. For clarification, swag stands for systematic wild ass guess. Like anyone who builds things, I have a large stash of random crap that I always find a use for. This antler came from a whitetail that I harvested last year. The bolt that I'm using uh, to attach the antler to the display came from a bunk bed that I took apart for scrap. And the piece of wood that I'm attaching the antler to was given to me by the person who did the laser engraving on the rifle stock when she used it for a test piece. Huh. If you are new to using a table saw, please be careful if you're going to repeat what you see here. This is not the safest way to do things. This is especially dangerous. Freehanding on a table saw is not a great plan. And here is another great plan that I have on film. And for the record, uh, my wife is and was not impressed. I've never mentioned it on camera, but I am not a fan of things that appear perfect. And I have found that most of the wonderful people or things in life are flawed, and that to me is what makes them unique.
case you're wondering, I had to use the tape behind the mesquite bark because the glue kept leaking out. In the next video, I will explain to you how it became incredibly complicated. Hey, if y'all enjoyed this video, please feel free to subscribe, to follow, tell your friends, leave a comment. I hope you guys enjoyed it and get your wheels turning. Thank you.